With hyperthermia and cervical cancer specifically, and by hyperthermia I'm referring to local regional hyperthermia, a specific form of hyperthermic treatment in cancer, the, there, we actually have very good phase three clinical studies that have documented and, and demonstrated that there is a, a significant advantage to incorporating hyperthermia with standard of care treatment. So last year there was a study that was published in 2017. It was a prospective uh, study with two arms, two treatment arms, and these patients actually had been previously treated with radiation. So patients who have previously been treated with radiation, they can't receive radiation again and they certainly can't have surgery. So their options are somewhat limited. And so anything that we can do to improve the outcomes in a very non-invasive way is definitely of interest. And so in this study, what they did is they had a treatment arm that just received chemotherapy alone, and then they had a treatment arm that received chemotherapy as well as local regional hyperthermia. What was so interesting is that the results were so significant in terms of the difference between those two groups. The group that received the hyperthermia and the chemotherapy had a 50% complete response rate, meaning there was no evidence of disease on a scan after treatment was completed, whereas the treatment arm that received the chemotherapy only, it was only 6% complete response rate. And that's just adding hyperthermia alone. So these patients received hyperthermia from the very beginning, this at the start of chemotherapy, they received it three times a week and they received 36 sessions. And the response rate difference, 50% versus 6%, complete response rate, That's those are just staggering results. We could never expect that from, you know, from a pharmaceutical, from a pill, from a drug, and here we have it with a very non-invasive and very simple to apply type of therapy.